Welcome everyone to Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Johnny LaCosta here alongside Dan Joseph. It is an incredible weekend for professional wrestling as the NWA 70th Anniversary Spectacular is happening in Nashville. But right now we have an incredible hour of action lined up for you. Everyone on this roster knows the time is now. The Zenith of Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. And with that said, the Red Carpet Rumble brings out some amazing special guests. Let's kick it right now to Carl Mandick with legendary ring announcer Justin Roberts and one of the most polarizing figures in wrestling, Vicky Guerrero. There is no title in the history of professional wrestling that has the legacy, the pageantry, and the gravitas of the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Let's take it back to August 21st, 1979. The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, won that title for the very first time, and on September 1st, 2018, his proud son, Ring of Honor star Cody, captured the very same title in an epic clash with the national treasure, Nick Aldis. And now in his arms, he possesses the 10 pounds of gold. And he's here in Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Very good, welcome to Hollywood. Hung him out to dry, somehow Sky pulled it off, hooks the leg. Oh, two and three quarters. He got all of that neck breaker, but... And the reason why he was able to land it to perfection, Joe, he didn't need a lot of force to go off that left leg because it is the hangman's neck breaker. That's right. And Sky's got to get creative like that, only working on one leg. Oh! He just took out Romero from the announcer's table. I mean, everything has become completely unhinged here. My the, God! The bell has rung. You hear everyone saying, let them fight, but I, I don't think any further can possibly let this continue. I mean, they're going to hurt each other even worse. We, we could have put this match on Instagram. Bad dude Tito just destroyed him for who the bell tolls, putting an end to the historic, tyrannical Heritage Championship reign of Pretty Peter Avalon. 672 days, and it's over. The light at the end of the tunnel was bad dude Tito. Yuma was found by staff here at the Ocean View Pavilion, but the damage has been done, grade three concussion, and also, I don't know how long he was suspended upside down, but he's very lucky he did not have a stroke or go into respiratory failure, all the blood pooling to his brain. Welcome everyone, it's a privilege to have you all here today, because every single year the Red Carpet Rumble is the standard bearer for championship wrestling from Hollywood. This is the event that every wrestler fights to be a part of. Titles are on the line, careers will flourish, and for some competitors, their legacies are defined. It may not have been exactly how we thought it was going to go, but what a battle between these two competitors and Tim Storm was just that much better than Nick Aldis. The CZW Wire title will be on the line and in the main event, a historic match, a no ropes, no rules match between DJ Hyde and Bad Dude Tito. What does that mean exactly? We have no idea. Sure, Joe, this may be his turf, and DJ Hyde may be 2,700 miles from the CZW headquarters in Philadelphia, but this kind of match is just like being on his home turf. No ropes, no rules, no problem. I give Tito a lot of credit for challenging Hyde to this match, but that goes into the psychological warfare of the office. They coaxed. Look Bad at that. Tito Look into this match. Oh, the tacks are stuck in his back. The table is shattered in three pieces as Bad Dude Tito careens into the table due to a choke slam, which leaves Kratos with Yuma. Yuma tagging in, tagging in when Tito had control. He thought he could take care of Kratos by himself. Kratos hits the game changer for the win. You have to wonder if Tito and Yuma are on the same page. Look at the athleticism and the strength of Willie Mack going into the sit-out power bomb, but it's all about the right knee of Scorpio Sky hitting Willie multiple times, doing so much damage, but Sky digging deep for one final knee. As you can see him limping now, he finally takes out Willie Mack for the three count. Wow, unbelievable. He was unsuccessful in his last two chances against Willie, but tonight, Sky is victorious at Milestone. Ladies and gentlemen, history has been made. Thank you for joining us for Dan Joseph. I'm Johnny LaQuasto. We'll see you next week on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Unbelievable. We'll see you next week, everybody. Thank you for watching Coastline Clash. It's been historic.